Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to assemble our hydraulic arm with our three subassemblies. So we have our subassembly one, our subassembly two, and our subassembly three. And if you haven't already done so, something I forgot to talk about is turn off all your joints here. You can always, the visibility, you can turn them on later if you want and then save them. Okay, so make sure all the visibility in your joints is off. Let's come up here and start a new design now. And as we always do, we're going to call this final assembly hydraulic arm. Okay, go ahead and select save. And the first thing we're going to do now is bring in our subassemblies. We're going to bring in subassembly one. So I'm going to come on over here, right click into current design. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and I'll end flip it around and select that's fine for our location okay looks good and if we did everything correctly remember last time okay I'm gonna go ahead click here and I'm gonna ground my platform okay and I'm gonna come back up here and minimize all that and that's the benefit of subassemblies is we don't have like this huge all these files for very large files you know it's for very large assembly files, you always want to break them up into subassemblies. All right, so now let's go ahead and insert our subassembly two into our current design. So I'm going to do that. Insert this guy. And we're just going to kind of rotate it in place here so that it looks like it's going to kind of come onto our hydraulic claw. And I want to rotate it around even more. That looks pretty good. So eh, let's move it over sideways a little more. Something like that and select OK. Now let's come up to Assemble. We're going to go to Joint, go to Motion, and we're going to select Revolute Joint. And we want, select Position, we want this place right here to match up with, well, this hole right here. Select OK. All right, and it's coming together pretty quickly here. Next thing we gotta do now, let's make sure that we're good, make sure this guy rotates up and down, and it does, is I'm gonna go ahead now and ground this guy. So I'm gonna come over to my subassembly two, find this part and ground it, and capture position. Now I can should be able to, if we did everything right, this should kind of swivel in place. And this should kind of swivel in place. So we're gonna do an as-built joint between these two here. So let's get them in place where we want them. Get that lined up and that kind of lined up. Maybe something like that. As best you can, get that thing centered in there. And that's not bad. I think we can do a little better. Maybe something like that. That looks really good. Now let's come on over here to as built joint. We're going to make sure it says slider. Click here and click here. And then click there and we're good. Okay. And we have that grounded, so we gotta come back over and take off the ground and unground it. And if we did everything right, this should go up and down. All right, looking good. I'm gonna come back to this guy though and ground it again so we can progress onto our next subassembly and insert it here. So I'm gonna ground that guy, capture the position, and now we're gonna to come to our subassembly three and insert that into current design. And once again, I'm going to kind of move it in place here. It can be a little tricky. Something like that. We'll move it up. Hit OK. That's pretty good. Come on over to Assemble Joint. And we're just going to use a regular old rigid joint. Okay. And we're going to select. Let's see here. You know what? I like, go to position. I like that midpoint to this midpoint. And hit OK. OK, looking good. Let's see if our claw still functions here. With any luck, we should be able to get it to work. Looks good. But there's one thing we're missing here. And you may have noticed. We, our syringe is empty here. So we need to hook our syringe up to our claw. So let's 
So let's come on over here and find our syringe plunger. And this time though we're using the modified version, so be careful. I want to insert that into current design. And I'm going to move it into place here. And let me see here. Kind of getting lost in the translation here. So that looks pretty good for now. Let's go ahead and assemble this with a slider joint. So we're going to select slider and come back to position. I'm going to click on this center point right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on that guy right there. Looks pretty good. Okay, so if I did everything right, this guy should come in and out, which it does. We're good. All right. So the next thing we want to do now is go ahead and insert our claw connecting rod. So come on over here, insert into current design. Okay, we're going to come on up and put it into place. And we want to go ahead now and let's see here. Rotate it around like that. And then rotate it around like that, 90 degrees. And this is going to be a little tricky because we want to get it underneath the syringe here. So all right, so let's come on up here and we're going to do a joint and we're going to do a revolute joint. And I want to click right on that circle. And I know that circle right here wants to go and this is important. So don't mess up. So I want it to go underneath right there and select OK. OK, so we're looking pretty good here. All right, the next thing we want to do now is go ahead and move our claws kind of all the way back. Not all the way back, but something like this. OK, and then we're going to go ahead and line up our connecting rod with one of these holes here. So we're going to kind of pull this guy, our plunger out, and then kind of look from, from the top here. We're going to do an as-built joint. I'm going to line up these two holes. I'm going to come to assemble, as-built joint. We're going to select revolute. I'm going to select this guy and our gear, and I'm going to click on this circle right here and select OK. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, next let's go ahead and add an M3 8 millimeter bolt to hold everything in place. I'm going to put it up here, over here, rotate it around, hit OK, assemble joint, click that guy, and we're going to kind of come from underneath, see if we can get that circle right there. Select OK. All right, looking good. Next you want to do now is insert a 10 millimeter bolt and do the same thing. Should be our last bolt. Have to assemble joint. Click there. And Make sure you get the right hole here, and you're going to click right there and hit OK. Looking pretty good. Last thing we want to do now is put two M3 nuts on there. Do that as quick as we can. These things are kind of small and hard to see. In fact, let's just go um, up. Actually, let's just go OK. Assemble joint, click there, and right there. 
And you know what? That one didn't go on right, but in the interest of saving time, we're just going to kind of go up like that. Hit OK. And insert our other final M3 nut. Insert into current design. Use our, rip, our uh, rigid joint, come back, right there, and right there. Okay, looking pretty good. All of our nuts and bolts and pieces are fully assembled now. So let's go ahead now and um, let's turn off our joints so we don't see any of them. That makes it better. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and add some joint limits to our syringes. So to do this, first make sure nothing's grounded except for the platform foundation. And if you come here, if you click right here, you should be able to move your syringe up and down. And be careful because things are a little wonky, things might fall into place. So hopefully we can fix that with some joint limits. Okay, so we need to come back over here to joints. But we need, this is in our final part here so let's see here um, come back over here and find the joint here that slider not that one that one and we're going to edit joint I'm sorry we're going to edit joint limits okay and the minimum It's going to be right there and the maximum right there. Select OK. Now it's going to come down and up and it's going to be locked into place hopefully. All right. Now let's do that one for the, do the same thing for this one. And so to do that, let's come over here to our joint and do edit joint limits. OK. Uh, for our minimum, check minimum and we're going to make that around minus one and then for our maximum we want that to be around point two okay so I'm going to type in minus one and then minus point two and select OK we got to make it minus okay now when we come on over here to our arm hopefully it won't go t get too crazy on us so it comes here goes out and we can probably change that a little bit. So let's come over here to our slider again real quick and make our maximum maybe like minus 0 0.015. And that's good. Perfect. Okay. And if you did everything right, your claw should just kind of be able to move in and out and stop okay and hopefully most of your syringes and everything here works and the last thing we want to do now is add joint limits to our final syringe down here so let's come on down and find our sub assembly one here sub assembly one let's go to joints and find that slider joint we can click on it over here and it might just get lucky and show it up there it is Okay, so I'm going to right click. Okay. Okay, and you notice there's no edit joints here in here. So that if that's the case, come back into your um, subassembly video one and let's go edit the joint in there. All right, so come back to joints. Come over here to find the slider joint. I'm going to click on it. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll show up. Uh, there it is. And I'm going to go to edit joint limits. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and check minimum. And that's actually where I want it for the minimum. So mat at zero. So I'm going to go to maximum. And then I'm going to just pull it out. Actually, wrong one. Something like there. And go back to minimum and set that to zero. And hit OK. Or, and this one was like 2.5. Hit OK. Now, notice it stops. 
So we're good. That's how we want it. Now if we save it, okay, and we come back to our final or complete assembly, you should see this yellow exclamation point. So go ahead and click that so we can update it. All right, now let's come back to our joints and find the joint down here. And it's the slider right here. And it should now work, hopefully, with our joint limits in place. So let's test it out. I'm going to zoom in. And if it's not working, what you're going to want to do is come here and go to unlock. Okay, and hopefully now it works. And it works with our joint limits. Stops there, stops there. And if your joint isn't working and this thing isn't rotating back and forth like the way it should be, check to make sure nothing is grounded. All right, so you may have something grounded which is preventing this syringe from sliding in and out. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna go ahead now and just zoom in here and move this syringe up so it's in a more natural position. And once I have a good position, I like it. I'm just going to go ahead and select save. Okay. All right. That'll do it for this video. Hopefully you got your claw fully assembled, looking good, moving, moving correct, and everything's functioning properly. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.